your system. Third set underway here in Lexington. Burgess hit the antenna point for the Nindy Lions. A little bit far outside. She just tried to cut that, cut the ball back a little bit too much. Matted up at a set apiece. The winner will move on to Seattle. National semifinals. Burgess got it again. Hancock is a good save by Howard. Hancock will set up McClendon and McClendon with another kill to add to her total here today to 12. Deja McClendon really starting to get on a little bit of a roll right here. And she's one of those players that if you keep feeding her that ball, giving her that confidence, she's a hard hitter to stop on that outside. Williams leading the way for Stanford, hitting 4-12, nine kills for her. She'll get it, but we're off speed. Sent it out to Burgess again, got it over the block of Slay. Not quite the set Scott was looking for. Lopad going up against Slay again. And this time Hancock delivers. Nice job by Mike, Micah Hancock taking that overpass and putting it down. Right now, Stanford really needs to try to get something going with Carly Wopat in the middle. Been a little quiet here lately. Wopat getting negative numbers. Three kills, four errors. Very much unlike the senior. You know, just a beautiful hit by Jordan Burgess. Again, her arm swing is so fast. She can uncork on the ball before the block closes the gap. Got it right through the middle of it. Let's go back to Wopat real quick. In the 56 total attacks she had in this tournament, she had just two errors heading into this match. And the dump over there by Hancock. Getting in. Trying to add to her total here on the attacking side of things. Now that's a play where Inky Ajanaku should have been there for that. She's Micah Hancock, front row player. That ball set close to the net. You gotta be ready for that. Just sent over a rocket. Burgess sent one right back for the Stanford point. She did, didn't she? Again, just that quick arm swing just gets past that block so quickly. Williams back to serve now for Stanford. Ajanaku there goes out of bounds off the block. You know, you really don't see that very often. Ajanaku not pressing in far enough. Just didn't get that press on it. The block goes out of bounds. Penn State, Stanford, that 14 times. They're even on the series. Burgess again delivering for Stanford. How about the energy that she has after the kill? She's so excited about what she's what she's doing right here, but look, she just finds the opening on the side of that block. Well, after the match yesterday versus Minnesota, the Stanford players afterwards said they had to create their own energy out there on the court. Obviously, Kentucky not in this regional. They got knocked out before they could get here, but the crowd not probably as, as highly attended as one would think, so they have to kind of create their own energy out here. Not hard to do in a match like this. Ajanaku, another kill for the sophomore. Again, ball control so important right now for Stanford to be able to run those middles. That was a beautiful pass ball by Rachel Williams to give Ajanaku a nice ball to hit in the middle. I think that will get her going here this afternoon as that one goes down. Penn State will take the point. And they lead it 7-4. It's Lacey Fuller back to serve now. She has been all over the place in this match so far today. Well, she's an energy giver. She comes in, serves well, plays some great defense. Low pat. Now that's the shot that Stanford needed. They've got to get Carly Wopat back on track to get points out of the middle from the Stanford offense. Both teams have been really utilizing the outsides here today. 
with Slay going up against Ropad has had a tough time of it this afternoon. Another great rally between these two teams, and Hancock will get the point for her Nittany Lions. Well, Hancock will get the point, but give Deja McClendon one heck of an assist right here, because look at the save in the backcourt. And then the little tip shot by Hancock for the, for the score. Penn State leads it by three. Ball with that set in the middle. We just talked about it. Trying to get Will Pet more involved tonight. I have to believe that was something that was talked about at the intermission. Well, you know, because you work your middle so much, they've been an important part of your offense all season long. You can't go away from that. McClendon got it in. You know, it's, I love it when teams know they touch the ball, but they want it. They sell it so hard to the <laughs> official that they didn't. And Stanford worked hard on that one, but didn't get away with it. Nine six. The two seed Penn State over the seven seed Stanford here in this third set. They'll split the first two as Burgess. Great save by Courtney, and Burgess will get it again on the overpass, and they say it touched the antenna. Well, it just went right outside that antenna, but it was a one heck of a save. A good try by Megan Courtney right there. I thought she got it, actually, but you've seen some good ones here we today. We have, absolutely. Kyle Gilbert back to serve for Stanford. Hancock, the back set there to McClendon. Williams. They were looking for a touch, didn't get it. Yeah, that was close, but maybe we can catch it right here, see if there was a touch. It might have gone off Katie Slay's fingertips, but if, if it did, it was very, very minute. Service error for Hancock. Well, that is her third. She's been kind of hit, hit or miss today, Melissa, in, in her serve. Slay. My goodness. Beautiful, beautiful set right here to Katie Slay. A little nice little, looks like a little 31 right here to her out of the middle. That little shoot set, boy, that's nice. Naturally gifted blocker. It's gonna force up there for Penn State from the get-go. Scott. Slay with the set. Scott trying to deliver, cannot. Williams, great dig by Hancock. Trying to go one-on-one -on -one at the net, Slay, Ajanaku. Point for Stanford. It was a great rally. You know, one thing we don't talk about much is Brittany Howard's defense in the backcourt. She's 6'3", and she is digging balls back there. It's, it's, you don't normally see 6'3 playing in the back row, but she does a good job for Stanford. Her mother, Eileen, played volleyball at Pacific, inducted into their Hall of Fame. Stanford straight together some points here. Well, they are, and nobody gets more excited about it than Iki Ajanaku. When she gets a hold of a good block, she's going to let her teammates know about it. Look at her. Look at the emotion. I love that. Ajanaku hitting 464 in the tournament, 33 kills, 11 blocks heading into this one. A great dig. Gilbert will get it. Burgess will send it over. Scott. Williams there on the overpass. Scott into the block. Ajanaku there. Into the block again. Goes Sarah May. Sarah May trying to get it over. And Scott will finally deliver another great rally between these two story programs. I, I think I think I did, and the crowd thought the rally was over a long time ago. It absolutely 
These rallies are phenomenal. Both of these teams just fighting hard for every point. Scott extends the lead here for the Nittany Lions. Ariel Scott is just putting in work today. Micah Hancock is wearing her out over there on that right side. She doesn't mind one bit. She's probably telling her, give me the ball. You go with what's gotten you here to this point. Scott will go again. And Scott will yet again add to her total here today, 11 kills so far. Well, you've got to keep going to her because Stanford hasn't really figured out how to put her away yet. Good timeout by John Dunning right here. You've got to stop this Penn State momentum as quick as you can. So Penn State on a little bit of a run here, up four in this Lexington Regional in set number three. Well, the Penn State Stanford finale in 2007 got the ball rolling for the Nittany Lions on their fourth consecutive national championship. Penn State won the first set, first two sets, but allowed Stanford to come back. Megan Hodge got the decisive kill. Penn State won the title with a 3-2 score, and as I said, got it all rolling 2007, and they continue back to back to back to back national championships. Well, just phenomenal programs. Both of these the coaches are just, you know, they just do a great job of keeping this rivalry going, keeping their teams at the highest level. Nittany Lions up four here in set number three after both teams split the first two. This is the biggest lead for Penn State in this set. And they wanted to verify they did get that kill. Stanford with the touch. Boy, there's been some real discrepancies on whether the ball is touched or not. Janaku comes alive. You think she gets excited about blocks? How about kills? Well, she does, and rightly so, because they're both very good. She got a little fired up about that touch call, though. She didn't feel like she had her hands on that ball that Penn State got. She goes out. Five kills so far for her, hitting 333. Sarah May. Boy, she has a heavy arm swing. That is like a boulder coming across the net when she hits it. Howard over the block. Hancock. Burgess was there. Sarah May goes long that time. Great dig by Burgess, but not enough. My goodness, the rocket sent over by Mia Grant. Nia Grant's been a little quiet this, this match. But that one definitely woke her up and the crowd. Got a rocket. It's Sarah May at the service line. Williams. Good decision by Williams there. Sort of had a little chaos on the other side for Penn State. Well, what a beautiful save by Lacey Fuller. She got on the ground for this one. Rachel Williams places it softly in the middle of the court. Lacey Fuller gets it. Not enough for Penn State. Nice tip by Courtney. Lopat tried to get it down. At the net. 
point for the Cardinal. Nia Grant a little unaware of exactly where that ball was. It wasn't going over the net. It was still on Penn State's side. We've seen a couple of miscues by her in this match today. A blend in. Block is there with Williams. She'll try again. Got it down the line. Beautifully placed ball by Deja McClendon. And again, that's, you know, you have to think that a lot of that is her senior experience. Just really does a great job cutting it, just cutting back across her body to go down the line. 14 kills from McClendon. Getting 353. The tip by Wolpat. Very good decision there by the senior. And she comes out a Janaku back end. That's such a, a potent pair of middle blockers. Wopad goes out, a Jonaku comes in. That's a lot to deal with. McClendon, a Jonaku there. Slay thought she got it down. McClendon, a soft touch. Bug was there. Courtney, another great rally. McClendon fires. Beautiful save by Megan Courtney in the backcourt to set that play up for Deja McClendon to send it home. Good read on her part. The defense just really laid out nicely for Penn State. McClendon just hammers it home. Nittany Lions up by four here in set three. Great serve by Hancock. The tip by Williams. Got it down. Williams, 11 kills today. Hitting 320. 10 digs. Off the block for Scott. Well, again, a, a rare miscue by Inky Ajanaku. The ball came off of her, not pressed in enough to send it back into Penn State's court. Burgess, Slay was there. Burgess will go back to serve. And it seems we've seen this before. One team will go on a run. We start closing in on set point. And then the other team will come right back. It's a nice serve. Scott, great day. Overpass by Burgess and taken care of by Courtney. Nice play by Megan Courtney to be there, ready to put that overpass down. Megan Courtney. Seven kills here tonight, giving her team the 21-17 lead here in set number three. Uh, looks like a potential All-American for the Nittany Lions there in the crowd here in Lexington. Penn State up 21-17 in this third set. Freshman sensation Jabari Parker and the Blue Devils are on ESPNU Monday night when they welcome the Bulldogs to Cameron Indoor Stadium. Gardner-Webb versus Duke. Monday at 7 on ESPNU, also live on Watch ESPN. NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship coverage continues with the National Semifinals Thursday, December 19th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. For more information on the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship, visit NCAA.com, your home for all 89 NCAA championships. Both teams trying to get there here today. Scott, Howard was there. Back out to Scott, over the block this time. They're going to say it was out. Boy, every ball, the players are all pleading their case. They're looking at those refs wanting the call. But that ball was out by Ariel Scott on that play. 
Both teams split the first two sets. Penn State has not trailed. In set number three as Wopak delivers a dagger. You know, those are the kind of balls, if you're a middle blocker, you are loving to attack that overpass right there. Carly Wopat was waiting on it. Courtney into the block, the pushover by Scott. Wopat over Courtney. Scott. Set up Howard on the tip. Scott was waiting for it. Pushed over by Mia Grant. Maddie Bug, the setter. Worked hard for the finish up that one. A great persistence by Stanford right there. Too many miss hits now. The ball control got a little weak, but Maddie Bug being able to put it away. Russ Rose with the timeout. His team has not relinquished their lead here in this set. They lead it by one now. Well, you know, when you have opportunities to take free balls and turn those into points, you've got to take advantage of that. And neither team did at that during that last point until Maddie Bug just decided to take that second swing and, and send it home. So far, McClendon leading everybody in kills, 15 in the match hitting, 351 on the other side for Stanford. It's Williams and Burgess, 11 kills each. Williams hitting 320, Burgess 400. This is the closest Stanford has been since trailing 11-10 in this set. Well, Stanford has to get back on track with more kills. Penn State has 18, Stanford has 15 for this set. And it really is, has become all about the kills. There's no question about it. Both teams blocking fairly well. A little bit inconsistent with the ball control, but you've got to get up on top of that ball and put it away. Deja McClendon has been a force here today, the three-time All-American getting a dunk for the Nittany Lions. Well, she's got such a powerful arm swing from that left side, but really it doesn't matter. I'll do it from the right side too. Just give me the ball. I'm a senior. I've been here before. She's a pretty dynamic player. And let's don't forget, she plays that back row. She's playing some pretty phenomenal defense today. Digging balls in the back row, covering hitters. Her coaches said that she this season has become a complete player, a player that can play all rotations at a high level that is very rare. Early in her career, she said she was an outstanding attacker, an okay blocker. She'd never really been asked to pass or play defense before she got to college, so they really focused on that with her in her first few years at Penn State. And that has come a long way over the past couple of years. She's just developed a better arsenal of shots, a great overall player. She's got nine digs to go with those 15 kills. The overpass at Stanford. Sarah May over the block. And Penn State extends the lead to two. You know, talking about Deja McClendon again, just to add on to what you were talking about. You know, she plays the game with great, she has a lot of fun. You, she's smiling out there, she's leading out there. She, her confidence level right now is through the roof. And rightly so, her game is, is at a very high level. Wopat got it over the block. You know, that's what good hang time will get you. And Carly Wopat has some great hang time. She hit that ball off the fingernails of her hand and got the kill. Megan Courtney comes out, Sarah May back in. Wopat nine kills, had the four errors. Very characteristic for her, hitting 227 in the match. Ariel Scott. Just a force here today. Well, if this is when Nia Grant comes alive, and that's not good news for Stanford because she's an excellent slide hitter, and she's been pretty quiet this match. So she's important to the Penn State success at this point. Great serve. Tip over by Williams. McClendon, great dig by Gilbert. Williams gets it down. Well, Stanford has to feel really good about that rally. Kyle Gilbert dug a fantastic ball from Deja McClendon right here and put it perfectly in Maddie Bug's hands for the kill by Rachel Williams. That fired up 
the Stanford bench. Down one, McClendon high, the block there. She'll try it again, the block is there again. Williams. McClendon with a save. Penn State, though, cannot keep it alive, and we are knotted up at 23 in this third set. Well, Penn State got one of those saves in that last set, and Micah Hancock went past the, the net poles. They tried it again, but it didn't work. We've got a timeout, Stanford, on a 6-2 run, looking for their first lead of the set. And why not have it come as we're inching closer to set point? Well, we knew these, these sets were all going to be close right here. But here's that last play right here. Nice dig by Megan Courtney. And look at Dej McClendon go to the other side of the court to find the ball, but just couldn't quite get it back over the net. Here she goes past the net poles right there. But Megan Courtney couldn't get it over the net. Okay, I hope everybody has seen this play and knows exactly what happened. But that's some great volleyball. I mean, you can tell these players are playing their hearts out right now, trying to get themselves to Seattle. Well, Stanford, as we mentioned, with the momentum, excuse me, that's Penn State with the momentum. Stanford, though, rocking it right now as we get closer to set point here in this third set, but this one, Penn State's led this entire set. Well, you know, Stanford ta has talked a little bit about, we've heard John Dunning talk about, you've got to go into an environment that's not one that you're used to. And you have to go into that environment and get comfortable in there. So here we are, they're in this arena. We have to play well in this arena. It's not our home. It's not at one of our conference schools. And that's what they're starting to do. He said that was what he was most excited about, to see how this team would react when someone scores two or three straight. Do we step up? Do we give in? He says he believes he would get the best reaction from his team he's seen all year. And I think the reaction has been pretty good from the Cardinal. Hitting 244, Penn State 210. Penn State with a blocking advantage, 8-5. to five. Low pass. Williams got it over. Deja McClendon off the block and out of bounds. Set point for the Nittany Lions. Deja McClendon is a hard player to block right now because she is really unloading on every ball she gets. If your hands aren't in the right place as a blocker, that ball is going out of bounds every time. Tied up a set apiece. Burgess was there. Penn State hanging on. Stanford is hanging on here. Knotted up at 24. Back to serve for them is Kyle Gilbert. Deja McClendon. Senior stepping up. Beautifully hit ball by Deja McClendon. She's got every shot in her tool belt all along this net. She can hit in all three spots. It doesn't matter. Just give her the ball. Set point here for the Nittany Lions. Williams over the block. Stanford hanging around. I tell you, nice shot by Rachel Williams, and she gave it everything she had right here. She's going to hit it so hard, it goes off the Penn State. Goes off of McClendon's head, well, off her hands right there, and out of bounds. Trying to get Hancock off the service line. McClendon fires. Again, every player with opportunities to hit the ball, they're really unloading on the ball. Set point again for Penn State. Burgess got it down. We might we might be in the midst of watching a set that gets into the 30s, Melissa.
at set point here in Lexington. But that all started with Dominique Gonzalez. What a beautifully passed ball on a tough serve to get up, but put it right into Micah Hancock's hands so Errol could Scott could bury it. Penn State takes set number three.